Aero Next Flying Gondola. Developed by the Japanese drone startup Aeronext, the flying gondola represents a forward-looking vision of future air mobility rather than a consumer-ready product. It offers a glimpse of what personal transportation could look like in the next decade. Equipped with Aeronext's proprietary 4D gravity technology and tilt body system, the flying gondola ensures both safety and comfort by maintaining a level passenger cockpit at all times, similar to how a Ferris wheel cabin remains aligned with the ground. The aircraft features eight rotors across two wings that enable vertical takeoff and landing. Its forward and rear tilting wings, each fitted with four propellers, adjust to optimal angles for different phases of flight, including takeoff, cruising, and landing. Aeronext's specialized software and hardware work in tandem to control wing movement and propeller speed, keeping the fuselage horizontal and reducing sway for a smoother, more comfortable passenger experience throughout the flight. This innovative design offers a practical solution that could enhance public acceptance of air mobility by delivering a new and more stable flying experience. Copter Pack Developed by the Australian company Copterpack, the Copterpack is an electric backpack helicopter equipped with a self-leveling autopilot. It features a lightweight airframe made from carbon fiber honeycomb, designed to set new standards for safety and performance in personal aircraft. The helicopter operates with two relatively large rotors, each about three feet in diameter, connected by carbon fiber tubes to a rigid framed backpack. This backpack also houses underslung battery packs and flat armrests with hand controls that allow the pilot to manage direction, speed, and propulsion. Unlike drones with multiple fixed rotors that achieve stability by varying rotor speeds, this two-rotor system achieves control by vectoring thrust through rotor adjustments. The setup is surprisingly user-friendly, allowing the pilot to take off smoothly, maintain a stable altitude, and perform forward and lateral movements. Additional LED lights are also included to help the pilot navigate the horizon at night. Bay Zoltan Flyke. The Flyke is a personal manned tricopter, conceptually similar to a hoverbike, developed by a Hungarian research institute. Featuring a distinctive retro style design, the green Flyke hoverbike accommodates a single passenger in a motorcycle-like seat with an open cockpit. It is powered by six rotors arranged in counter-rotating pairs on three axes positioned around a circular frame. These rotors spin in unison to provide lift, and the aircraft rests on a fixed V-shaped landing skid. Flyke's power source consists of either an all-battery system or a hybrid electric setup. Flight control is managed via a control panel located in front of the pilot, with movement achieved by adjusting the rotation speed of individual rotors. In the event of a motor failure, the remaining motors can generate enough lift to ensure a safe emergency landing, preventing the aircraft from crashing. Flight can be operated remotely in autonomous flight mode, offering unmanned maneuverability. Arca Aerospace Corporation Arcaboard the Arcaboard is an electric hoverboard developed by Arca Space Corporation for commercial use. Powered by 36 electric ducted fans, it can carry a person weighing up to 243 pounds for up to six minutes of flight. Designed primarily for entertainment and personal recreation, the pilot stands in the center of the hoverboard during operation. The Arcaboard is capable of flying over land, roads, railroad tracks, and even water, with movement in all directions. It features a built-in stabilization system that ensures smooth operation in various weather conditions, and the hoverboard can be controlled via a smartphone app. With a maximum speed of 12 miles per hour and a weight of 180 pounds, the device is made from a composite structure that acts as a thermal insulator, while a forced cooling system keeps its components from overheating during intense use. The hoverboard lands on its fuselage, and the company emphasizes that it is a safe platform for flight. The Arca board is available for purchase on the RKA website.
for $14,900. Dragonair's Airboard Dragonair's Airboard is a one-person electric vertical takeoff and landing hoverbike developed as part of the GoFly competition. The pilot stands while flying and controls the aircraft using two large ski pole handles. The design currently lacks a cockpit, but is noted for being very easy to operate. Built from lightweight carbon fiber, the airboard features a compact design with four pairs of coaxial motors, driving 40-inch propellers. The development team is led by Jeff Elkins, the creator and designer, who began working on the EVTOL aircraft in 2015. Mariah Kane serves as co-designer, pilot, and project manager. While the initial market for the Airboard is likely to be personal, recreational flyers, the team envisions potential applications in agriculture, search and rescue, and other industries. Aerofex AeroX Motorcycle the Aero X Hoverbike is a personal aircraft developed by Aerofex, an aerospace engineering company based in Los Angeles. Aerofex's mission is to create small, affordable aircraft for personal and commercial use that are intuitive to fly, highly reliable, and feature redundant systems for enhanced safety compared to traditional aircraft. The Aero X is an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle designed for motorcycle riders who prefer to fly above traffic rather than navigate through it. This urban air mobility vehicle features an open cockpit, with the pilot seated atop the fuselage and steering via low handlebars attached to the center airframe. Its minimalist design is intended to appeal to pilots looking for an exciting flight experience in both urban and rural environments. The aircraft uses fixed skid-type landing gear, reducing complexity and overall weight. The pilot interface is intuitive, resembling the controls of a motorcycle or bicycle, allowing for easy control of pitch, roll, yaw, and thrust through the hand grips. This setup provides full vehicle control with one hand while the pilot's feet remain free, making the Aero X significantly easier to fly than a helicopter. The Aero X uses ducted propellers with lightweight, stiff carbon fiber ducts that tilt to minimize drag and weight. The primary duct structure is over six feet in diameter, yet weighs less than seven pounds. A servo-driven control system manages all six degrees of freedom, and its all-electric control system integrates the latest in flight controllers and drone technology. This design eliminates mechanical linkages between the airframe and controls, allowing the ducts to tilt for better speed and efficiency. Airwolf The Airwolf is a futuristic two-passenger electric vertical takeoff and landing hoverbike concept designed by Czech company UDX Research SRO. It features an open cockpit with a front windscreen reminiscent of a motorcycle and accommodates one pilot and one passenger. The aircraft features tandem wings, which generate around 50% of the lift necessary to keep the hoverbike airborne. Made from carbon fiber composite, it offers a high strength to weight ratio. The Airwolf is expected to have a maximum cruise speed of 143 miles per hour and an acceleration of zero to 62 miles per hour in just three seconds. The aircraft is designed to have a range of up to 41 miles and a flight time of approximately 25 minutes. Powered by battery packs, the hoverbike utilizes four independent tilting electric ducted fans, which are 3D printed by Italian manufacturer Vasifan, and four electric motors. Safety is enhanced through distributed electric propulsion, which allows the aircraft to land safely even if one propeller fails. Additionally, the aircraft features redundancy in critical components to prevent any single point of failure, further improving its safety. To fly the Airwolf, pilots in Europe will require an ultralight pilot permit, along with additional flight training and several tests. In the US, a sport pilot certificate will be needed to operate the aircraft. The Real Life Guys Flying Bathtub Two German brothers 
Philip and Johannes Mickenbecker, who are also known as the Real Life Guys, took their innovative flying bathtub drone out for an exciting test flight in the real world. This unique contraption, powered by an impressive 120 horsepower engine, soared over picturesque farmland and glided across a small pond, all while carrying one of the brothers on a whimsical mission to buy a sandwich in town. As they flew by, onlookers were left in a state of amazement and confusion, gazing at the sight of a bathtub soaring through the sky. The entire flight and project received full support from the German government, highlighting the significance of their endeavor. At one point during the adventure, a curious cashier even inquired whether the flight had been a success. While the concept may seem a bit silly at first glance, the achievement of this bathtub drone carrying a grown man over such a distance represents a noteworthy advancement in drone and propeller technology. This project not only showcases creativity, but also pushes the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of personal aerial transportation. Trek Aerospace Flycart The Flycart 2 is a wingless electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed by Trek Aerospace, based in Sacramento, United States. It is a single seat open cockpit aircraft powered by 10 ducted fans and electric propulsion. Designed for the GoFly prize competition, four iterations of the aircraft were produced. As a hallmark of Trek Aerospace's designs, these versions used ducted fan propellers. As the Flycart 2 evolved, significant improvements were made, including an increase in power and a substantial reduction in airframe weight. This was achieved by reducing the number of ducts and replacing aluminum components with carbon fiber, resulting in a lighter and more efficient aircraft. The Flycart 2 also features shrouded propellers, which enhance pilot safety, reduce noise, and increase thrust. In March 2019, Trek Aerospace completed Phase 2 of the Go Fly Challenge, earning a $50,000 prize for their advancements in the competition. NASA Puffin The Puffin is a 2010 concept for a hover-capable, electric-powered, personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed with a prone pilot position. Developed as a pro proto technology concept, the Puffin earned its name due to its resemblance to the Puffin Bird, which, despite its seemingly small wings, is capable of flying up to 55 miles per hour by flapping its wings 400 times per minute. The aircraft also mirrors the Puffin's environmentally conscious nature, boasting near zero emissions, similar to the bird's habit of hiding its waste. The Puffin was designed to carry a single person at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour with an expected range of less than 50 miles, using 2010-era lithium iron phosphate battery technology. Its design included a 13.5-foot wingspan and a height of 12 feet in its takeoff and landing configuration. The tailsitter aircraft featured a canopy over the cockpit, offering the pilot excellent visibility. Its main gull wing, two ventral fins, and rear X-tail designed to expand outward during landing or remain expanded when parked were key elements of the structure. The Puffin's fuselage was constructed from carbon fiber composite for an optimal strength to weight ratio. And it used fixed landing gear with two rear wheels and small spheres at the ends of the X-tail booms for stability during takeoff and landing.